What is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's video we're reacting to is by A&E Cord Cam. I love these videos on the A&E videos about cord cams, but this one I had to, like, react to because as soon as I saw the title, Woman Refuses Counsel Because Jesus Christ is Her Attorney. I love the Sovereign Citizens videos because they just make themselves look like idiots or any idiot in these videos, but this one looks like it's just going to go downhill from here. Yeah, she doesn't want a lawyer representing her because Jesus Christ is her lawyer. All right. Let's see what's going down on this one. Let's do this. Next, we're in Williamsburg, Kentucky for a bond revocation hearing. Oh, Kentucky. That kind of makes sense. Very religious down there. So I get it. The defendant walking up to the podium is 42-year-old Shannon Fox Hamblin. Today, she's in court for allegedly violating conditions of her probation. Once at the microphone, she lets Judge Paul Winchester know she's being represented by a well-known name, maybe best known for his pro bono work. And who's representing you today? I'm represented by Jesus Christ. Okay, I thought she was going to lead up to it, like make a speech and say like, ah... Oh. The one, the only, blah, blah, blah. But she actually just said Jesus Christ, okay? You know you can get a public defender, right? Oh, well. That's right. Now, a savior he may be, but one thing he is not is a licensed member of the Kentucky State Bar. So the judge offers up the services of the public defender's office instead. Also, why go with Jesus Christ? You want to go with God because he knows more because he created all, didn't he? Technically, didn't God create everything so he knows everything? Jesus is just his son. He's just there. It's like, I'm Jesus. You need my dad for counseling. Jesus! Partied hard. Oh, she said played hard. Yeah, but that's not how it works in real life. Many times the mercy's rain from that bitch. Not because I deserved it, but because I'm sure somebody prayed. Okay, I wanted to taste salvation and play over here too. I was riding the fence between me and you. God gave me a choice, and it's life or death. I kid you not. Do I look like the person that stood before you in August? Yeah, I'm humble and a walk of shame. Hold on. So in August, she wasn't really religious, and now she is religious? Huh. Okay. I see the, what the play is here. Was not religious before August, but now she is, so she's going that route. Okay. But alas, Judge Winchester has had enough of the courtroom sermon. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. The allegation is you failed to report to probation and parole. Okay, sir. I have nothing in this world. All I need is an answer. No. Did you go? Yes or no? That's it. Yes, I did. But the next two times I didn't handle right. Uh, that's your problem. You gotta find a ride anyway. Can't depend on others. You gotta get there and event. You gotta get there no matter what. To not reporting to her probation officer is scheduled. Fox Hamblin has another violation. On December the 9th, 2016, you were given a drug test and you were positive for methamphetamine. And that was confirmed by a lab. Saved by blood. Yes or no? <laughs> Saved by blood. I got caught with methamphetamine, meth in Kentucky. What do you plead? Saved by blood. Do you acknowledge that? I acknowledge I'm saved by the blood. Saved by the blood or exposed by the blood test? I, I don't need, use I drugs, Your Honor. I, I do not that. use them. Yet you're found methamphetamine in your system. The test does not lie. That, but back on December of 2016. This paper says so, but I will not admit it. He said I could... Are you denying the allegations in this motion? Yes. Fox Hamblin's probation officer is then called on to offer testimony. Back in December, did she test positive for drug use? She did not. He's not telling the whole truth, Your Honor. Okay. You expect me to, he needs to too. Okay, let, me, let me tell you something. Now, you can ask him a question. Okay, have I, I not been in contact? Uh, when you called me and said the drug test came back naked, and me, tell the truth, Shane, what did I say? Brian, these you are a liar in the court of Williamsburg. I promise you, Jesus is watching. Okay. Jesus is always watching, even when you poop. He is lying, sir. Yeah, tell me I'm not lying. Tell me when I say lies. Jesus is watching you poop. I have to go by what the lab 
says. You know, it doesn't have anything to do with what he says. Blame me and you. Okay. Brendan is to reform me, right, to make me a good person for well, society. Well, that, that and correct? to keep you from breaking the law. Okay. Well, do you believe that the blood applied by Jesus Christ can do more reform for me than uh, Pee Wee Valley? Do you believe it can happen in one day, one minute, and one hour? Well, Sir, I'm sentenced to death. I'm going to die. But as the defendant continues to argue, the judge asks the bailiff to escort her out and revokes her bond. Mr. Engel, can you take her form of plea? Motion is sustained. Thank you. Sir, it, I know I have the right to speak, okay? You did, but now it's over. Your time to speak is over. You already wasted the court's time. But you'll die with Jesus, right? As it becomes more apparent that she is not going quietly. Another court official enters to help remove her. Jesus said you had to go. Will you follow him? No, ho, we don't go. There's clearly some mental health issues right here. As the struggle spills into the hallway, you won't go unless Jesus tells her to go. Fox Hamblin continues to resist, reportedly kicking one of the bailiffs and causing an injury to his hand. Oh, you kicked the bailiff. Okay. That's contempt. No, that's more jail time. Contempt, yeah. Contempt of court, second degree assault, resisting arrest, second degree disorderly conduct. Yep. Second degree assault, resisting arrest, and second degree disorderly conduct. She was sentenced to eight Only eight years for all that. Okay. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E. Court Cam is always great with these things. I don't know if she's actually serious or if she has a mental health issue going on. Because you never know these days, but she's not going to jail unless Jesus tells her. Or am I just saying that for the jokes? Probably for the jokes, but yeah. I still find it kind of sus that before August she wasn't religious and now she is. Maybe she's using that system to get out. But you never know. They say like, oh, I found Jesus. I have been... Uh, Reborn, blah, 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 and all that. But this is court. Uh, the judges heard it all. So good luck with that. Anyway, that's it for now. Humanoid Nation, Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito. Nos vamos pegando.